Hi, my name is Zach from Elite Hot Tub and Swimming Pool Maintenance. We're a full service wet leisure company operating across the north of England and Scotland. Today we're sharing a case study of a swimming pool recommission for a private residence in the Cumbrian Lake District. Starting off with some background for the project, this pool had been out of action for around 8 months due to the pool water not responding to sanitizer after a storm had caused it to turn green. The owner also reported that the pointing material had been leaching into the pool from in between the flagstones surrounding it. Looking at the pointing material, you can see that it's just sand and it's simply been brushed in, which isn't the right option for this pool. The cover and rail have also been damaged during this time and have since been unusable, allowing leaves and other debris to get into the water. Our task was to save the water if possible using chemical treatment, change the filter media in the sand filter, repoint the flagstones surrounding the pool, clean the flagstones, install a new cover, roller and handrails. We began by giving the pool water a high dosage of shock chlorine to sanitise the bacteria growing in it, along with a flocculent treatment to collect all of the organic matter together to be vacuumed up later. After this we started on removing the sand from the pointing. We did this by loosening the material with a pressure washer and then scraping it out by hand. As the chemicals began to take effect, we could see a change in the colour of the water from the chlorine and the flocculant began to stick the fine matter together, creating this foamy substance on the surface. Here you can see from an aerial perspective the change in the pool water and what a difference the power washer has made on cleaning up the flagstones. Removing the pointing was the most time consuming part as the flagstones had been laid in an irregular way meaning that some pointing lines were larger and deeper than others. Returning the next day, the water had responded well to the chemical treatment and circulating for 24 hours. We applied a second dose of shock chlorine, flocculin and clarifier in the hopes that this would clear up the water within another 24 hours of circulation. We chose an epoxy grout for this which is both strong and water resistant, meaning the owners wouldn't have problems again during periods of heavy rain. Here you can see us brushing in the bulk of the pointing material and finishing up by hand. We complete this day by doing the sand filter media change for the pool filter, but unfortunately I couldn't capture any footage of this as it started pouring it down with rain. We returned a few days later and this is the result. Perfectly clean and clear pool, ready again for people to swim in. All that needed doing was another fresh chemical rebalance a small vacuum and the project was complete. And we couldn't be happier with the transformation. If you have a pool in need of some TLC or you would like to learn more about our pool services, please visit our website or give us a call. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.